to see here. We're out here at the cow pasture. We're going to take up the E-Flight Air Tractor. We're going to have a little bit of fun. It's a beautiful evening here on the 28th of uh, January, 2021. And we're going to have a little bit of fun with it. All right, let me grab the camera, put it back on my head. Put a little camera on your head there. All right. Already got right, right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Got landing flaps, takeoff flaps. All right. My motor, on. motor on, that helps. Take her down here and do a range test. I haven't flown this plane in a hot minute, so definitely need to do a range test. Just something you should do. Just something you should do, especially when you haven't flown a plane in a while. All right. Go to my function screen. Down to range test. Depress to go to reduce power. See movement. Motor works. All right. Back to the normal screen. All right. Get her down here. Let me look away for just a second, folks. See how that sun's starting to get behind them trees, which is going to make it really nice. All right, now you can kind of see them lights in that shadow there. Oh, that's a good-looking bird right there now. Boy, that is. That's a good-looking bird. Of course, I know I say all my birds are good-looking, because they are. So, all right. This is like <laughs> tailor-made. We're out here in an agricultural area. This is an agricultural utilitarian type plane. Gonna put one notch of flaps in. All right. Going to what little wind there is. Don't even need it. Oh man. You know what? Gonna have to land her. Gonna have to land her because She's way too tail heavy. I think I got that. Oh, that's right. I, you know what I didn't do? I get you. I'm gonna give y'all a second to think about what I didn't do. The uh, clue here is that she's tail heavy. So what did I not do before I put a lighter battery that I'm used to used to in? I didn't check the CG. All right, even though you're saying, well, boy, you landed great. Still, when I took off, she first thing she wanted to do is drop that tail. Let me reposition, move that battery a little bit forward. I can tell by the way she's behaving. And that just comes with practice and experience, folks. You'll get there if you're a new person. First thing I want to do before I touch the model, motor off. Motor off. All right, on a low wing plane, you're gonna find your CG, which in this case is right about where that mark is, right about there. And yeah, yeah, she, she's wanting to drop the tail. So I need to move that battery forward. Remember, if you're tail heavy, move the plane towards the nose. If your nose heavy, too nose heavy, then move the plane back towards the tail a little bit. So, okay. There, that should be better. That should be much better. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm used to putting a much heavier battery in this plane. Now, the cow doesn't really have much weight, so we can hurt the canopy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much, much better. Much better. As a happy now. As a happy now. I'm running a 2600 HRB4S in her. Motor back on. All right. So got three and a half minutes. Yeah. A little bit better. Uh, and she still wants to climb on me. But I'll deal with that. But there again, I'd rather climb than want to dive on me. 
Boy, that yellow. You can really see that yellow really well. This is like a low wing timber. Jason Merkel, he describes his plane as it flies like a low wing uh, timber. And I've got to agree with him. I really do. All right. Full flaps. Bring her in about quarter throttle now. I'm more like an eighth. Yeah, I could do better than that. I think we can continue on there. Now that sun has gone behind them trees a little bit. I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. This is like a slow flying dream of a plane. Even though it's a low wing, she will fly so low and slow, so pretty. Look at that. Just look at that. Yeah. Point her towards me. At the last minute, move her down. Straighten her out. Ah, come on. Knife edge. <laughs> you know what, let's do this time. Land her with no flaps. What do y'all think? No flaps? Sound like a good idea? Oh, that's why my flaps were down. That's why I couldn't tell. Couldn't do the knife edge that well. Well, anyways, no flaps this time. There we go. A little bit better. Let's do one notch flap for takeoff flaps. Coming right at me. Oh, beautiful. You know what? I think we'll land that way. We'll land with takeoff flaps. Let's see what or one notch of flaps, as I like to call it. All right, let's see what that does for us. A little bit of back pressure there. Reducing the power, keeping her level. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. So for today, the takeoff flaps are great for landing. Gives you just enough down pressure and enough uh, angle to land her nice and pretty. All right. And that's what you want. You want a pretty landing. Now that one wasn't a pretty landing. I know my time's about out, but. Oh yeah, I like that one. I'll take that one. All right, folks, so there you go. That is the E-Flight tractor. And what do you want to hear before you touch a plane? Motor off. Motor off. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and God bless y'all.